We're in Windows 10 using Hyper-V, and I'm going to show you how to change the boot order of your hard drive versus DVD, etc. So if we right-click and choose Settings on our virtual machine, we can go right to where it says Firmware, and it says Boot from File. Now this is the default that you get when you build a Generation 2 virtual machine in Hyper-V, whether it's on Windows 10 or on Windows Server. So we can see that the file is the first one that it's going to boot from, and then we see all these different other options, such as the DVD, it could boot from that, a network adapter so it can go into a server to be imaged, or the hard drive. And of course, there's a second network adapter here as well. So when you boot up your computer, if it says that it won't boot up, then it's possible or even likely that it's the boot order, and this is where you want to go. So you'll want to move up, say, the DVD, you can move that if you wanted to boot from DVD, or you could move the hard drive all the way to the top so it boots from hard drive. Whatever one you know works best for you, by default, it's going to be the EFI file, which is automatically created for a boot manager when you first install your virtual machine. If the hard drive gets ahead of the DVD, and for instance, you want to boot off the DVD, then you'd want to move that hard drive down so the DVD is up above it. So that's how you change the boot order in a Hyper-V virtual machine in Windows 10. Now, if you don't see these same options, then it's likely that you are running off of a Generation 1 instead of a Generation 2. So those don't have quite as many boot options as the Generation 2s have.